from the year 1048 to the year 1308 the Seljuks and the Byzantine Empire were in a war that was won by the Seljuks and the Romans lost in this war huge chunks of Anatolia. And in the year 1071 the Seljuk army led by Alp Arsalan and the Byzantine army led by Romanos met by the city of Manzikert. The Byzantine army was about 200,000 warriors and the Seljuk army was about 40,000 warriors. Sources claim that Alp Arsalan tried to negotiate peace with the Byzantines but Romanos refused, and he ordered his army to camp and attack the next day and Seljuk cave Arli attacked the camp throughout the night. The next day Romanos reformed his army to attack, the Seljuks started an attack in a crescent formation and the middle flank led by Alp Arsalan stayed at the back. Romanos ordered his men to attack but the Seljuks didn't want any direct bat healing so they were avoiding the Byzantines and they were throwing arrows at the same time. And Romanos was able to reach the Seljuk camp, but when it was dusk he told his army to go back to the Byzantine camp, but because of the dark the Byzantine left flank couldn't get orders and Alp Arsalan found this as a chance encircling the Byzantine left flank and fully finishing it. And for some reason the reserve forces retreated and didn't help the Byzantines, and Romanos couldn't help the army because of being outnumbered, and the Byzantine right flank was convinced that Romanos died so they started retreating. And by that Romanos was all alone and the Seljuks were able to kill the Byzantine emperor. This battle was the start of Islam in Anatolia and this battle is also known as the Second Yarmouk. Sub. So,